The White House now says it has intelligence that Hamas is using the Al Shifa hospital in Gaza to run its military operations. While many have fled the hospital due to a lack of power and threats of an attack, a number of Palestinians remain, including babies who can't be removed from incubators. Join me live now is Israeli government spokesperson Tal Heinrich. Tal, thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate it. First of all, I want to ask you about the hostages. 240 plus hostages still being held in uh, Gaza by Hamas. Would the government, under any circumstances, accept a ceasefire in return for hostages? We said that we already had a cessation of activity when Hamas released four hostages, if you remember, two women and then two other women to facilitate their exit from the Gaza Strip, and we're willing to do it again. We're hoping, in fact, to do it again because we want to see all hostages being released immediately and unconditionally, and we hope that the international community will continue to back us up in the demand to release them. Uh, what we're not willing to discuss is uh, a larger ceasefire uh, because we said that we're very determined to bring an end to Hamas's terror regime in, in Gaza. OK, 15,000 people have now been killed in Gaza. It could be many more. It could be slightly less. Uh, it is hard to tell from, from where I sit. How many of them do you think are terrorists? First, we should be taking every kind of report or every kind of, you know, numbers and, and, and news coming out of the Gaza Strip with a huge grain of salt, because these are, these are Hamas numbers. The Gazan Health Ministry is controlled by Hamas. Nobody can speak out of term there because there will be consequences. And in past rounds of conflict between Israel and Hamas, we saw that they inflated numbers and, and, and so on. So, uh, but I can tell you, because we have sources and we have intelligence, we have troops on the ground in Gaza, that we have eliminated thousands of Hamas terrorists as we continue to make our advancements there. And in fact, the Hamas has lost control, we can say, of the northern part of the Gaza Strip. Yeah. Their leadership know that they're coming, and we eliminated many, many terrorists and, and Hamas commanders, in fact. Tal, if you've eliminated, as you say, thousands of Hamas terrorists, surely you are getting close, if not have achieved the wiping out of Hamas as a terrorist organisation now? That's a great question, but there are tens of thousands. Uh, again, these are not my words. You can also look up a New York Times report and assessment there. There are between 20,000 and 40,000, according to uh, assessments of Hamas terrorists there. Uh, please remember that we want to bring an end to their governance regime, but also their military wing, and, and make sure that Gaza is demilitarized once we are done with this counteroffensive, uh, because we cannot let the October 7th massacre happen again. And they say, their leadership, they say in interviews, that they were perpetrated again. Yeah, but surely with thousands dead now, you are getting close. I think what the concerns are now, Tal, if you'll forgive me, are growing, mm -hmm. that uh, what is the definition of a, a Hamas terrorist? Because we know that a lot of the civilians living in Gaza live in fear of Hamas as well, and they are often put in impossible positions. How does Israel view them? your 100% correct. We are making a distinction between the civilian population in Gaza. Uh, we want to help the civilian mm. population in Gaza, and there are many efforts at play that we are taking to ease their suffering and to minimize civilian casualty. But that is the very brutal and, and gruesome play of Hamas. They want to maximize the civilian suffering there because they want Israel to take the fire for it while they are committing this double war crime of targeting our population and targeting Indeed. Palestinian population that they want to sacrifice. Indeed. I am struck by uh, the words of uh, an official in the Defence Department within um, your government that really accused of doctors at the Al Shifa Hospital of helping Hamas. Aren't you putting these doctors, you know, treating babies in an impossible decision? If they leave, their patients die. If they stay, some within government, your government, have accused them of helping Hamas. 
So a few things uh, to break to unpack here. First, the the management of the hospital. You have to understand everything that's happening in Gaza is 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 done uh, in accordance with with Hamas's uh, strategy. If they appoint someone to a high position, they want the person to be there. Again, I'm not saying that. Of course, doctors. Uh, there are no. great doctors. Again, it that, goes back to uh, that impossible position for them, doesn't it? Of course, it's an impossible position, and, and nobody wants this more than Hamas. Nobody wants this complexity more than Hamas because they want Israel to take the pressure for their actions, mm. a but, double but pressure. In, but we, I can tell you, I mean, they, they I can do just it tell as you a regarding the baby, right, Tal? They do that as a strategy it, to put Israel in an impossible position, and in some ways, you're playing right into their hands. No, they know that we care about the civilian population, in, including, of course, in everything that pertains to the most vulnerable people in Gaza, premature babies and incubators. They know that we care for them more than they do. They want to, uh, you know, they want the picture. They want right. to manufacture a crisis, a humanitarian crisis. And we're, we are, in fact, taking incubators from Israeli hospitals and trying to deliver them to the hospital managements and helping uh, to evacuate that hospital. And that hospital, okay. by the way, is a subterranean uh, terror complex hosting the Hamas command center. I'll just uh, end on this because we never have enough time uh, for, to talk about the situation there. So I appreciate you staying up for us and talking to us. But, you know, I am struck by, again, some government and IDF officials who've said that they wouldn't characterise the situation in Gaza as a humanitarian crisis. Is that your view as well? And how bad does it have to actually get before you see it as a crisis? You see, there, there shouldn't be a humanitarian crisis in Gaza. Had uh, the population evacuated and Hamas didn't block their way to the safer zones that we have designated. But Hamas is on purpose manufacturing a humanitarian crisis because mm. this is what they want. So it is a crisis as you see it. It's a Hamas manufactured crisis. Tal, really appreciate your time. We'll speak soon. Thank you.